Do not attempt to adjust your programming. You are now listening to B Movies and Beyond. Welcome in to B-Movies and Beyond, episode 295. Uh, as you can tell, it's just me. There's no Ryan. No. Uh, Ryan's on assignment in San Francisco. Um, but I have my lovely wife, Danielle, filling in for him to chit-chat about movies. And she's so pumped. So excited. I know. It's her favorite thing to do is watch these terrible movies with me mm-hmm. and and yeah. Fall and, asleep and take good naps. Yeah. Take good naps yeah. and then complain saying that was dumb. <laughs> yeah. 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 Pretty much every time. I do like to tell you that you're dumb. Me? That I'm dumb? Yeah. Well, my movies are dumb. Yeah. Wow. I'm sure all our listeners... You know, you probably have had someone say these things. You know what I have to admit? Some of our movies are really dumb, but that's okay. That's what makes them so much fun. You got to look past the dumbness and enjoy it. Okay. I'm Ryan tonight. I'm pumped. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, it is Halloween season, uh, babe. I know. I already decorated. Yeah, well, kind of um our five-year-old kind of did the decorating she wouldn't <laughs> let me do anything it was so great and you know if you don't know five-year-olds aren't that tall so everything's at a certain height for decoration wise at our house it's lots pretty, of things on doorknobs yeah, yeah very adorable she was mm-hmm. very adamant though that she did it mm-hmm. the aesthetic is off but i have not moved anything so yeah i've moved some things though uh but I love this time of season. I think we've already asked this question before. I have so many questions! I want to know, what is your favorite, maybe just Halloween movie? It doesn't have to be scary. Hocus it's Pocus. Hol- it's Hocus Pocus? Of course it is. Okay. Well, it's not like you don't watch it like every single year. Yes, I do. You act like you don't even know me. I feel like I haven't seen that. I've seen it one year. Mm-hmm. And you fell asleep. <laughs> I watch it every year. Multiple times a year, usually. Just when I'm not around? I watch lots of things when you're not around. Mm-hmm. In fact, the movie that I'm going to talk about tonight, I watched it while you were not around. That's true. Actually, I would say the majority of things that I watch, you're not with me. Because they're the movies that you enjoy. But I usually don't. Because enjoy. most of the time that I'm with you, we have other things to do. Well, that's besides true. Besides watch movies. Yeah. Like get busy. Yeah. Like get busy? <laughs> what, what does that mean? Get busy with what? You have to clean and I have to oh, wash the baby. Yeah. Get busy with those things. Get busy not with get, having. Yeah. Get busy with parenting stuff, which took us forever to get to this state in our recording and yeah, hopefully it stays y'all are that lucky way. that we got here yeah it is it's tough being a parent and trying to do a podcast so uh let's move on we're gonna move into our trailers because you never know how much time we're gonna have on this mm. here are some exciting coming attractions um i know you're super excited for this trailer that came out uh creed three <laughs> Stoked. Yeah. Uh I think what did you say? Oh, is that I said is that Creed? Apollo Creed? Yeah, is this about Apollo Creed? I'm like, well, his, his son. He's like, she's like, oh, okay. Yeah. And then the, the title sequence came up saying it was Creed 3. And she's like, This has been happening for three movies yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, she did not know that. No. Uh Michael B. Jordan. He's acting and directing. And he's it. hot. Yeah, and he's hot. A lot of shirtless scenes. Mm-hmm. Jonathan, Jonathan Majors is also in it. And, and he's, also hot. He's been working out. And he's ripped. Uh, you know, feuding friends, basically. One, you know the old story where one 
gets away from the castle, everyone goes to jail, and then the jail they get out, and then they got beef, right? And so of course they, got, they have beef. And how do you solve beef? Fighting. Yeah, you gotta punch it out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, so that's pretty much the gist of it. No sight of uh Rocky. So no no Sylvester Stallone, which I heard that he was not gonna be in it, which was he in the first two? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's the the trainer, and now they moved oh. away from that. Like, oh, well, the other guy was training the new guy. Yep, yep. that other guy. Yep. yep. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see how they like try to explain away Rocky. Did he die? He's old. Do you think he died? He's old. He had a cancer, but I think he fought cancer and won. I think he's old. He's just tired. Yeah. He takes a lot of old man naps. Yeah. So are you gonna watch this one when it comes out with me? Um. Or the take a actors nap. are very <laughs> attractive. Um, I might start watching it and fall asleep until you're you're over the hotness. Yes, and probably when the punching begins, you're like, I'm I'm done. It's nap time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like that's the plan. See you then. All right. Well, you know, there's two others we can watch those too. Yes, that's three <laughs> naps. Yeah. Uh, uh, I didn't see other trailers. Slow week and no Ryan, so he didn't put any notes in here. So it's it's all us. This Ryan didn't everything. give me any notes. How am I supposed to be Ryan if I have no notes? Just pretend to be Ryan. All right. Um, I love Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Movies and just being loud. Go off on tangents a lot. Oh yeah, I will. Okay. Okay. All right. Next segment. News. <laughs> News, <laughs> babe. How do you feel about Black Adam? <laughs> <laughs> well, if I was Ryan, I'd feel. How would I feel? I don't think he cares. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, it's coming out this Friday. Okay. Um, it is it a by the time that you're hearing this, it will be already out. This will be released on Monday, but it's already out now. Yeah, as, as we're talking, or mm -hmm. as you're listening. What is it? Black Adam? Uh, the DC movie. Uh, so the opposite of Marvel. So it's a comic book. Comic book movie. Uh, the Rock is Black Adam. I love The Rock. Yeah, so I think that's it's probably gonna do decently well because the rock's involved and he's the main character. Mm -hmm. uh, but so far, I've been kind of seeing uh, reviews that are not so good. At least critics are not enjoying it. What does the Black Adam do? Um, did you see Shazam? No. Nope. Nope. Does what he does. <laughs> magic. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> he has magic powers. Can fly around. He's really, really strong and. Don't they all do lightning. that? Like, they all have magic powers and fly around, right? It's more Except for Batman. He's just evil and, like, mad. What? Why evil? I don't know. He's not, like, evil, but he's, like, he's pissed brooding. off. He's brooding. Oh, brooding. Okay. Yeah, well, whatever. He's different. angry, and he just yeah. beats people up. His parents died in front of his eyes. Wouldn't you be upset? I've seen that scene, like, 700 yeah. times. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, Black Adam is coming out, and the, the reviews have been been too good if you've listened to this and you already seen it i'd be curious about what you think but uh yeah it's a super movie but superhero movie but worse is the title of this one that i read on uh, uh slash films really um yeah so uh, i glad i uh, i didn't really have plans to go see it i mean i will go see it because i see all of them uh but not rushing out right now in rotten tomatoes it's about 55 percent uh, be interesting to see how the the box office does because I think they've really uh box office has struggled a little bit, so Ooh. yeah. Um, we're gonna move on now. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Do you know how to support this show? Uh, yes. Um, you can find them on Facebook. Uh huh. Uh, it's B movies and beyond. B movies beyond. Okay. Close. <laughs> <laughs> the and was taken. <laughs> Why? Someone. There's. Some... Okay. Find him at Facebook. 
B Movies Beyond. Mm -hmm. And Instagram. And Twitter. Same thing. No yeah. ants. At, at B Movies Beyond. And our website's website, just one, is bmoviesbeyond.com. I've been to all of them. They're How? great. <laughs> They're great. You should go check them she out. Really she really yep. has. Yep. She really. And also, I've shopped your merch. Yep. Yep. See? See that? Yeah. And on Facebook, she got a badge for her number one fan. I'm a really big <laughs> fan. I, you know, I try. Yeah. So, go to our website. Best way to find everything related. Also, go to our web or uh, uh, YouTube page. Please subscribe to that. Uh, you can hit that little bell too, so you can notify whenever there's new videos. Because you know. yeah, because you never know when you're gonna have like a way hotter Ryan. Like today. Never know. <laughs> you never know. Uh, let's get into some reviews. Okay. Uh, you want to take it first, babe? I always want to come first. I mean, go first. <laughs> take it away. Um, really? <laughs> you said so. <laughs> okay. Um, I watched Look Both Ways. It's a Netflix film. Uh, it came out in August of 2022. It has Lily Reinhardt. I think she's kind of best known for um, her betrayal of Betty in Riverdale. Have you seen Riverdale? Nope. Have you read the comics? Uh, I know the Archie the, comics. Yeah, I know of them, but oh, I it wasn't. Those weren't the comic books that I read. Oh well, those were the ones I read. Yeah. <laughs> I used to get them at the grocery store nice. for like fifty cents or something. Yeah, yeah, they were awesome. Anyway, um, so she plays Betty, but not in the movie. In this movie, she plays. I think her name's Natalie, and uh, she's a college student. And basically, the whole premise is um, whether or not she gets pregnant like on graduation night. And then it's like an alternate reality movie, but it's not cheesy. They're not cheesy about it. They're not like, it's not like about magic. It's not like about anything weird, time travel, none of that. It's like, here's what would happen if she was pregnant. Here's what would happen if she wasn't pregnant. And it's just very like cool. Like it's cohesive. Does it go back and forth between it the does. two? Okay. Yeah. So it's not like one way and then the other. It's like kind of goes back and forth, but they're actually decent at it. It's not like it's not hard to follow. You you understand what's going on. How do they do the transitions? <clears throat> I don't know. It's just kind of like scene for scene, I would say. Like you just pick up, oh, she's pregnant. Oh, now she's not pregnant. So you know what timeline you're watching. So the first the first one. I uh, I feel that she was not pregnant, and then they go into like, oh, let's go party and let's go have fun, and so they go and they do that, and then like the next scene, it's the same exact scene, but she is pregnant, and it's her and her best friend like in a bathroom. So they don't. <clears throat> How do you know what you're watching? You just do. You it's very know. seamless. Yeah, it's it's good transitions. I actually liked that there wasn't anything like weird or like I don't know. They didn't have to keep on <clears> saying <throat> B story and A story. No, no, no. <laughs> it wasn't like that. And um I liked the characters, I liked the acting, I liked the storyline. <clears throat> they probably could have done more with it. It could have been even better, but I thought it was pretty good. I know you hate time travel, but it's not like that. Well, it's not it's time basically traveling. like how many times in your life have you been like, oh, if I'd only this one thing had happened, how different my life would be? How many mm -hmm. times have you thought that? Never. Okay, I think it all the time. <laughs> I've so many things in my life, I've come to a crossroads and I'm like, if I'd only made this decision or if this had happened, this is how my life would be. But you don't know. Right. But this movie makes it so that you do know. And it's pretty cool. I guess. I we she was telling me about this film before. I we kind of got a little so I was like, how do you know? What do you mean? Like, what's the gimmick? You know, what's the how do you know what life is better to live? 
Like, There's no gimmick. It's just, it's basically just two alternate realities. Like, and one's not better than the other. But this she does, a, nope. She doesn't end up with the same guy at the end of both realities. She yeah. doesn't end up with the same life at both realities. So what's the lesson learned though? Like, I don't understand it's this not, movie. There's no lesson. There's no lesson. It's just what would have happened if she was pregnant? What would have happened if she wasn't pregnant? And they're two very different lives that she would have lived. But I think it's interesting. And so, I kind of wish that there was a movie about all my alternate realities. I only watch movies where there's a lesson to be learned. And this you is the first only, movie. Only. You watch Sharknado. Yeah. Don't get involved with Sharknados. <laughs> That's the lesson learned. Also, don't get involved with Tara Reid. I learned things. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, I recommend it. All right. On Netflix, streaming now. Um, I don't know. I might have to check it out just to see if there is a lesson to be learned. There's not a lesson to be learned. It's just make your own choices and life happens. Well, that's true. And that's why I don't think about what could have happened. I'm very happy with the choices I make. Well, Peter... Um, can you tell us what the lesson learned is from my best friend's exorcism? Oh, I will tell you. I will <laughs> tell you. Uh, that is a movie I watch. My best friend's exorcism, streaming on Amazon Prime, uh, you know, just in time for the holidays. And uh, this, is, this is an interesting one because this is kind of, I mean, it's right there in the title. Like, you know what's going to happen. Uh, they're... Um, this chick, um, Abby Rivers, and her best friend, Gretchen Ling. Uh, uh, Gretchen gets possessed, gets a, a demon inside of her, and and uh, the best friend doesn't give up on her. I mean, this is a great lesson learned and a great friendship story. I actually like the cover art. Yeah. It's like a best friend necklace. Yeah, the, the two hearts broken uh -huh. apart and the other upside down cross in mm -hmm. it. That's good. That's creative. Yeah, I this is a really uh, fun movie to watch. I thought they did a great job with the the character development. Um, the the two these two main girls, uh, Elsie Fisher. Is that right? Is that how you pronounce it? Yep. Elsie Fisher. She was in um, eighth grade. Which if you haven't seen that. Uh, it's actually really good. A little bit of a slow burn, uh, but she was the main person in eighth grade, and she, she did fantastic. And then uh, Amia, Amaya, Amaya uh, Miller is Gretchen, who also did a really good job. She, and her being possessed, I thought, uh, was very good. And I liked how they transitioned through that whole possession. Uh, it's also, this is kind of like a comedy horror movie. Uh, so the the you know, it was kind of funny. There is some vomit in this. I will warn you about There's that. Vomit in every exorcism movie, isn't there? Yeah, that's point. how you get the demons <laughs> out. The vomit. Well, no, actually, that that's the. Well, yeah, yeah. I guess you vomit multiple times. I feel like I'd be sick to my stomach if there was a demon in me. Like that's just like a given. Yeah, I'd probably have a headache. So how they kind of like, and I like they. So they went through all the transitions, like how you know you're you're possessed or, or someone's possessed. Uh, and there's a really great like so this this it's all set at it like a, um, I think like a Catholic school basically, mm -hmm. and so like there and it's set also like in the 80s, and there's a great part where uh, they had like this these um, church these these young strapping men come out and they're working out on strange they're pumping iron for God. <laughs> Okay. It's hilarious. It's it's one of the best parts about this movie. And then one of those guys turns in to be like a like a um, uh, I guess a priest, not really a priest, guy that can exercise demons basically. He has the sight to recognize when someone's possessed and he can help uh um exercise those demons. And so but his character was fantastic. Uh I, what was that guy's name? Uh Christopher Lowell played uh, Christian Lemon, and he was fantastic. Very, very funny. Um, that whole sequence trying to do the exorcism was just uh, really funny. Uh, and then I liked just how the follow through, how how they finally get to the exorcism, and, and how uh, I mean, I don't know if this is a spoiler, but 
friendship triumphs over everything. I think that was definitely a spoiler. Well, I mean, I think you knew with the breast friend thing. I mean, the breast friend thing. Yeah, the breast friend. They are breast mm -hmm. friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <sighs> I really enjoyed it. I thought it was funny, uh, well written, uh, acted uh, well, um, and, and just how it transitioned from uh, scene to scene was very good and 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 funny as well. But not over the top, you know. They didn't overdo it with the comedy. Sometimes you can ruin it. So it was a good mixture of the the eighties vibe with uh, kids doing exorcism. Okay, well, what would you call a horror comedy? This movie. What would like? What do you call it? <laughs> like you know how there's like dramedy. What's oh, a horror uh, comedy? Hormedy. Horror Harmony. Horrity. Horrity. I feel like I used to be a horrity back in the day. <laughs> um, well, I'm glad you're not one anymore. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Very fun. Guys, check it out on Amazon Prime. I think I will. Nice. You know what's next? Mm, recommendations. That's right. It's your favorite sound bite. <laughs> yes! Yes! I'll have what she's having. Hey everyone, it's Peter here. Uh, just wanted to let you know uh, the rest of the recording got all messed up, so I'm just going to recap what we did. Uh, we were talking about recommendations, and Danielle was uh, recommending uh, True Crime on Discovery+. Plus. Go there for all your true crime needs. I mean, if you love true crime, they, there is a show for you. Uh, as for myself, I believe I recommended uh, The Simpsons, Treehouse of Horrors. Uh, all of them are on Disney Plus right now that you can just watch. And uh, uh, they're a little bit more violent than what I remembered. Uh, and so uh, I guess uh, be wary when you're watching it with kids. Yeah, my my five-year-old was watching in... Uh, yeah, but luckily she was just like, that's dumb. That's dumb. Anytime they did something really violent. So I got away with that. Um, thanks, everyone, for uh, watching and listening. Uh, I want to thank my lovely wife, Danielle, for for filling in when Ryan was out. Uh, that was awesome. Very sweet of her. And uh, I love her. So until next time, guys, pew, pew out.